Tonight, a vigil at a local synagogue honored the memories of victims of violence. Our Marissa Thomas was there tonight for the somber memorial. She joins us now. Marissa, what was the message they shared tonight? The night was filled with heartfelt calls to stop gun violence. The phrase, one is too many, was repeated throughout the night. For many, there were empty seats at the dinner table during the holidays. Ten years ago, the Sandy Hook shooting left families without their loved ones. Josh Fleetman, Western Pennsylvania manager of Ceasefire PA, reflects on the event. And what many of us remember is kind of the beginning of this era of what seems like constant mass violence at our, at our places of learning, at our houses of worship, at grocery stores and shopping malls. Fleetman also wants to remember those in Pennsylvania who lost their lives to gun violence. So we want to remember the victims of Sandy Hook. We want to commemorate them and their lives. We also want to remember the 15,000 Pennsylvanians who have died by gun violence since the Sandy Hook school shooting. Mass shootings only account for 1% of deaths caused by gun violence. Suicide by firearms and community-based homicides are more common. Erie County has lost four people from community homicides just this year. There is grief and healing present at this vigil. Healing is so important. We, trauma is, is such a pervasive part of this gun violence crisis. And healing is a lot of what we want to do here tonight. We want to bring people together in a welcoming, warm environment where we can remember those we've lost. To help prevent future deaths by firearms, Ceasefire PA pushes lawmakers to pass preventative gun violence legislation. Here in Pennsylvania, we're calling for, for three basic pieces of legislation to, to prevent gun violence. We call it our common agenda to end gun violence. And the first two of that are really going to help reduce mass shootings. Speakers for the vigil included family members of victims of gun violence, faith leaders, educators, students, and other community members to share their message and plea to end deaths from firearms. Live in the studio, Marissa Thomas, Erie News Now.